So today, I want us to talk about a tale of two motivations. And I want us to talk about the wealth versus the Sussexes. And I'm going to talk about their actions. And then you are going to see for yourself and come to a conclusion on which couple is actually um, like more genuine, who do more good for people, and which one is just money hungry. Both these couples have opened playgrounds for children to play in. And let me just start with Harry and Meghan. So Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry wanted to help the children and families of Uvalde, Texas to heal by opening a new playground. And their charitable foundation, that is actual, partnered with the city and non-profit Kaboom to build a new community play space in Uvalde nearly five months after it became the site of the second deadliest school shooting in the U.S. history. That is what Harry and Meghan did. And the building of the park, which is located four blocks from Rob Elementary, was driven by the community and the kids who gave their input on what they'd like to see and play with in their dream playground. And even Uvalde Mayor Don McLaughlin said that Coming together to build a new playground at the Leon Park has given community members a way to unite around something positive as they try to heal. And he said that we are grateful for the rallying of support from Kaboom, Actual and others who are committed to the long-term health and well-being of the kids and, com and families in Uvalde. And even Sussex Squad have raised thousands of dollars in collaboration with Kaboom to support the children in need. And that was just very, very amazing. Like there's lots of money that was actually raised by the Sussex squad just to help the children and, and community in Uvalde in Texas. And that was very amazing. So congratulations to the old Sussex squad for your efforts, for all uh, your goodness, for all the support that you've actually shown the children in Uvalde and also to Harry and Meghan. Your efforts have really gone a long way because you raised lots of cash to help the children in Uvalde, Texas. And that's, that was just something very, very great. Like that was a symbol of the unity and the love that is in this community. So thank you all very, very much. So thanks to Harry and Meghan, Al Kaboom, and also the all of the Sussex squad, these children are going to, I mean, the community is going to have hope again and these children will have a good playground. And you know, the amount raised was over $133,000. Donations came from over 2,500 people worldwide, including contributions from every continent. And they were very grateful for the fundraising effort and all the support of all the people who actually took part in this fundraising and helping re to restore hope in the community of Uvalde in Texas. So thank you very much everyone who contributed in this. And well, I can't say the same when it comes to Prince William and Kate's playground which they built in Windsor because people are complaining so much about what is actually going on there. And Prince William and Kate apparently built a new playground in Windsor. And they opened this local park for kids on Tuesday at Windsor Great Park in England. But apparently, it's not quite receiving the warm welcome that they had actually hoped for. And even the parents of these kids are not buying into whatever William and Kate have going on there. And even these articles have come out saying how parents slam the cost of Prince William and Kate's new playground in Windsor. So many people are slamming whatever Prince William and Kate are doing because the cost of actually just visiting that, uh, that playground is just too much. Even parents actually pay just to watch their kids play. Imagine how absurd is that? You as a parent are not going to play, but you're just going to watch your kid, yet you actually pay for just seeing your kid play. How absurd is that? And just so you know, the one for uh, Kaboom, the one that was built by 
actual together with kaboom with the help of the sussex squad is actually free to enter like it the entry charges are free so after prince william and kate saw what megan and harry had done uh, in uvalde they decided that they were going to copy the same same thing that prince harry and megan had done but then what they failed to do is that they actually fail to help people because they are now charging people to watch their kids play and you won't actually believe the prices that they charge for people to just enter that place and even for the kids to play and what astonishes me the most is that they actually charge parents i mean parents are just there to watch their children play they themselves are not going to play yet they charge each and everybody who actually visits that playground this is crazy right and people were so much complaining about all this so for adults or people who are 16 years and above of age they charge 12 euros and then for children that is people from the age of 2 to 15 years of age they charge 16 pounds and then they don't charge for children that is below two years of age but if you're a parent and you are actually taking your child who's below two years of age that means that you are going to pay 16 i mean 12 dollars so i don't know how this sounds to you but it just makes me really uh, question this william and kate and all that they're doing it just shows that all that they actually want is to make profits from each and everything like they can't just do something to help people even visiting charities they just go there empty-handed because they want to take all these photos and look like they had visited a charity but in real sense they are actually not even helping those people so this even reflects everything that they do including this playground and as a response to this, parents slammed William and Kate as inconsiderate of the poor financial climate currently plaguing the country. And many Brits have been struggling to pay their bills for months due to the sky-high inflation and soaring interest rates caused by supermarket prices and mortgages to increase in price. Much and one person even commented on their Instagram post saying that there is a cost of living crisis, read the room. I mean, can't William and Kate say that? But of course, they can't say that because they are using taxpayer money to fund for their living. So there's no way that they actually struggle to even put food on their table. So they can't feel that there is even a, a crisis in the cost of living. And another one blasted how much it is charging, says that, saying that it is utterly obscene. I mean, I just agree with this person 100%. And another one was like, how could you guys get this so wrong? Has William and Kate ever gotten anything right? They always do things which just make you question if they're actually thinking or not. And even a mother of two, Natalie Masters, says that, I'm sorry, but 56 pounds for my family two adults and two children for two hours in a park is utterly obscene what a pity imagine for two adults and two children to actually visit that park you'd have to pay like 56 pounds that's crazy right but i'm very sure that william and kate are not going to do anything about this because right now they're probably just counting the money that they are actually going to get from this playground and it's actually very selfish of William and Kate. And I don't know what you all think, but to me, William and Kate look like people who are very, very greedy. Compared to Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan literally do things to help people. And people are really grateful for what Harry and Meghan do. But, in, but then when it comes to William and Kate, you can see that people are literally complaining because of the high prices that they charge for people to even enter that playground so you just compare these two and come to a conclusion by yourself and for me it just seems as though william and kate are the ones who are grifters well let me know what you think and i'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast have a great day goodbye